Hi guys, my name is James. Welcome to another Eurovision reaction video. And today I'm going to react to uh, to the winner of Sweden's Melody Festival, who is going to the Eurovision Song Contest in Tel Aviv, Israel this May. John Lundvik with the song uh, "Too Late for Love." So, I'm gonna make things a little bit different. I'm not going to react to the National File performance because unfortunately, I've already watched um, both the winner's reprise and the semi-final performance which more or less are, are the same. There's not much different. So I'm gonna share to you my thoughts on the performance and how I think it will it will fare in Tel Aviv. So, the song Too Late For Love was written by Chan Lundvik and and two other songwriters and he also is the song is the co-songwriter of uh, of the UK entry uh, bigger than us with Laurel Barker so yeah it's going to be a very awkward thing for him because he's going to be interviewed by both the UK and the Swedish press with regards to both his entries in the song contest. There's nothing in the in the song contest shows that states that the songwriter cannot compete against his own against his own uh, written, uh, co uh, written entry from another country since he's going to perform for one country. So there's that. This is quite a big change for Sweden after several years of playing it safe, uh, relatively safe. I would say that uh, Sweden whole has a very high standard for pop songs that they sent that they put through the ringer in Melody Festival and while they are almost um, different from one another from Euphoria to to popular to heroes to if I were sorry etc um, they are kind of sounded uh, manufactured uh, that is very reflective of the current music scene in Sweden. So there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, except for me as a Euro as a Eurovision fan, I would love to see um, to see uh, Sweden uh, do something differently. So if it means also going uh, going back to their ethnic roots, sending something like John Hendrix uh, entry or or something else something in, this, in Swedish something in Sami something like that <laughs> so but what makes this uh, what makes Tuli for Love different is that the genre itself for which the song belongs to gospel r and is not I, I don't think it's a very common genre that is often heard in Swedish pop uh, radio stations so that alone makes it stand out and and other than that, the song is written by the performer, which makes the song more genuine to the performer when he per whenever he performs it. So, it, so that's another plus for me as well. And not only that, John Lundvik is a very charismatic and a very soulful singer. You kind of feel feel him when he when he when he when he sings. And yeah, and he's a great he's a really great singer. And I've, I've all I've all. And I already watched his performance last year when he debuted in the in, 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 in the Swedish Song Contest with My Turn, and he showed a lot of early promise even then. And now he really came full circle with with his entry for this year. So that also marks um, the third year, I believe, the third year running that a returning. Uh, a returning artist for Melfest came up, uh, comes uh, came, came up of come up with the competition winning after only participating in their second year. So, uh, 2007 saw um, Robin Bankston winning after after only after becoming a finalist the year before, 
and then uh, Benjamin Ingrosso win it in 2018 after placing um, runner-up, I believe, when he debuted the year before in 2017. And then uh, the same can be said now for John Lundvik, who debuted in 2018, and now he before eventually winning it all in 2019. I can see um, Sweden going simple with the staging for this song because it doesn't really need it, any elaborate props. Uh, it only capitalizes on, on all things simple. You only need some lights, you only need some backup scenes to back you up, literally. And then the folk and the camera and the cameras will only have to focus on him and his backing singers to make the, the entire performance more um, intimate. And relatable to the audience. Uh, I have no doubt that 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 Sweden is going to qualify from its semi-final this year, and and I have no doubt that beyond just um, reaching the top 10 for both the juries and the televote, I hope the televote can back this up as well. I think it has the potential to win uh, the Eurovision Song Contest. So, fingers crossed for those who are fans of Sweden of Sweden's Eurovision entries. Personally, I don't want I don't want to see uh, Sweden winning again after because it's been so soon since 2016 in Stockholm. But I won't be against the idea of Sweden winning again. So, <laughs> so guys, uh, do you think uh, do you think you, are you a fan of the song as much as I am? If you dislike this one, tell me why down in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.